dusting of snow over downtown Marquette right now, Ben. What can we expect as we head towards the weekend? Yeah, kind of a shock to the system today with how cold it is compared to the past couple of days. But another warm-up is on the way as we head towards the weekend as the ups and downs of late February continue. But yeah, dusting of snow out there. Marquette right now, roads aren't in too bad of shape. Temperature is at 15 degrees. Feels much cooler than that with a wind out of the north at 12 miles per hour at this hour. Satellite radar composite, lake effect snow showers continue across portions of Marquette and Alger counties right now. Most of this activity is light, occasional moderate snowfall is possible though if you're traveling along M28 right now probably between Aw Train and Harvey is where you could run into some occasionally moderate snow showers some of these also extend south towards the Scandia areas but particularly if you're traveling along M28 is where you could see some occasional moderate snowfall I don't see anywhere picking up more than an inch of additional snow through the night however on the wider perspective there's the cold front that came through last night certainly brought the temperatures down some of us oh about uh, 30 degrees cooler than we were at this time yesterday high pressure is going to briefly build in for the weekend. I think we're dry here for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday as well before our next chance of not only snow, but also rain. A mix comes in here for Tuesday afternoon, transitioning to some more widespread snow by the time we hit Wednesday. Winds are going to start to be a little bit gusty. They are gusty already for some areas right now, approaching 25 miles per hour, especially from Marquette down to Iron Mountain off towards the south and east. But as the winds start to move towards a southwesterly direction, we'll start to pump in some warmer air as we head towards the weekend. We're already starting to see this Saturday afternoon. Southwesterly winds, this is going to tap into some warm air that's building up in the plains to head towards our area. These gusts up around 20 to 30 miles per hour can be expected Saturday afternoon. Probably peaking here very early, just after midnight Sunday morning, we can see those gusts up over 40 miles per hour briefly for some locations. And as we head towards your Sunday, winds are going to start to shift more northwesterly. It's not necessarily going to tap into the colder air just yet, but it's still will be gusty out there. Could see a flurry or two as you head towards the Keweenaw. Winds will start to die down a little bit more by the time we hit Sunday night, but then pick up again as we head into Monday. Almanac today saw a high of 36 degrees. Certainly not that right now, but that occurred just after midnight. Temperatures mostly in the low to mid teens out there right now. Record high was 49 back in 1984 and just back in 2015. It was minus 28 degrees, so certainly could be chillier out there. Tomorrow expect highs most Mostly in the low to mid 30s, could see a few upper 20s hanging on. Mostly sunny skies are expected, though, a return to some of vitamin D for us. And as we head towards inland areas, mostly upper 20s to lower 30s, a few mid 30s possible. In your seven day forecast, dry for the weekend, temperatures warming back up to the 40s for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Could see some 50 degree readings in here from time to time, especially for inland areas. Chance of a rain snow mix comes in for Tuesday afternoon, and temperatures once again really cool down with the wind returning on Wednesday. Could see some moderate to locally heavy snowfall here on Wednesday and then another increase in the temperatures. Back to 40 again by next Friday. It's like a yo-yo back and Absolutely. forth, up and down all winter long, Ben. Oh, a wild yes. ride. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. Over to you, Kevin.